Hi, I'm Misty Max, and I'm here to share my makeup collection and storage video. I just recently moved and had to pack all of my makeup to safely transport it. And since I'm unpacking it, I thought I could share what I've got and some tips on how to transport it. As you can see here, I have this plastic container and a second deeper one underneath. You can buy these at most supply stores and they actually lock on each side of the corners with some handles. They have some nice grip where you can pick them up. The two that I've got are 33 litres each and this is for all of my makeup, nail polish and brushes and that kind of stuff. What I did was pretty much apply Tetris to my makeup collection to make sure everything fit. I've taken a couple of things out already, so I can show you those. I've also got this bad boy, and I actually end up putting my Gorilla Grip with my iPhone camera on it to film usually. It opens like this and it's got three tiers. I've got gel eyeliners and some cream bases on the top, a whole bunch of glitter on the second row, and a bunch of eyeshadows and pigments in the bottom that I packed in just for travel, but I usually keep them elsewhere. I have another acrylic case that I keep most of my sugar pill pigments in, and as you can see I keep them upside down so I can see the color and the name of them. But I actually have so many sugar pill pigments that I have to keep them in a regular drawer as well and I didn't increase the size of this guy. I pretty much own almost every sugar pill pigment they have, bar a few. I'm absolutely a sugar pill addict and love all their stuff. And here I've got the original Naked One palette with all the bronzy style shades. And I also have the Naked 3 palette, which I really like. I didn't care much for the Naked 2 one because I don't like the cool shades generally, but the Naked 3 palette I thought would be really great for using with pink, red, and purple looks, as I have, and I've used it in many of my tutorials. Everyone knows it's got the pink tin mirror on the inside. It comes with a dual-ended brush, which is really great. I really love the Urban Decay brushes. And yeah, all these shades that are generally rose-toned, pinkish and go really well with a if you want to do a natural look or if you want to mix them with other light toned colors. I definitely use Limit and Nuna the most because they're the matte shades and they're great for transitions but I love to use Dust and Buzz Wet because they're pretty cool and Blackheart is nice too. I really like it. Next one I've got is the Sugar Peel Cold Chemistry Collection one. And this has four of their dark shimmery shades, which you can also get in singular form. Elemental Chaos is a really nice one if you use it over a dark purple base. And with a black base, Subterranean looks pretty cool, and Soot and Stars is a nice sparkly black. It's kind of more of a charcoal color though. This one also comes with a jagged mirror as well. Here's another one of the elongated Sugar Peel palettes, and it's the Sparkle Baby one. It's got a mirror inside as well, and some nice pastel colors. Kitten Parade is an exceptionally lovely one as well. I've got two sleek makeup palettes here. One is the Acid palette and one is the Candy Collections palette. This is the Acid palette and it's good for some bright neon colors. They're not super pigmented, but they are pretty good. And I really love this purple shade for blending out purple smoky eyes. With a good white base, some of these shades can work really well. And they're actually a good addition to blend out some more pigmented primary colors. I couldn't resist getting the Sleek Acid palette because I love neon colors. And here's the Candy Collection Sleek palette. And it has some nice, interesting, bright colors in there too. I haven't used this one much, but I really liked the way it looks, so I grabbed it. Here I've got an Inglot Freedom palette, and these ones you can make yourself. This is one of their 10 eyeshadow palettes, and I put all my bronzy gold shades together, and also my purples. I have a few other Inglot palettes that are smaller, because these things weigh a ton, and they're like a fucking tank, honestly. But basically, you can choose the eyeshadows and put them into any size palette you want. They call it the Freedom System. One shadow I like to use is this one, which is number 34 AMC Shine, and it's really great for an inner corner highlight if you want a really golden tone. Some of these purples don't work so well in the crease, and it's actually best to use them on the lid with a purple base, and then they can look amazing. None of these are mattes. Most of them are the Shimmer or the DS range. And this palette has a magnetic lid closure, and it just snaps on top of itself. Here's some of the other Inglot Freedom palettes that I was telling you about, and here I have what I use for mainly transition shades of brown, peach, and pink. This is great for purple as well. These are good for neutrals, and you get good transition shades since you have different tones of each color. I've got this one with a few white and shimmery silver shades that I don't use as much anymore, and this is a little quad of random colors that I bought because they looked cool, but I don't use them as much. And they can be used in, like, I have used this one in red looks before to deepen up the crease, but they're mainly shimmery as well. I just ended grabbing pretty much these three on a whim because they looked cool and I didn't have a color like that. And here I have the infamous Urban Decay Electric palette. Here you go, as you know, all these bright neon colors, and I really love these. It also comes with the brush inside. I really love this one, and I've got to use it more because it's simply amazing. The only color I'm disappointed with is this one. The Silver Revolt shade is quite underwhelming. I absolutely love Slow Burn and Savage is awesome. Urban is delicious as well. Plus it looks pretty fucking cool, but packaging is awesome. I have a couple of Z palettes as well with 
miscellaneous stuff in them. This is some drugstore stuff like Revlon eyeshadows, um, some more Revlon eyeshadows, some L'Oreal eyeshadows. There's also some Sedona Lace ones here, and I believe that one's a Lancome one as well. A while ago I wanted to reduce the bulk of my collection and depotted a lot of eyeshadows. This is just a large Z palette. This one, however, is the Z palette with the domed size, so it's larger and deeper if you want to put blushes and mineralized shadows in there. A couple of MAC mineralized shadows, that's nylon, and the Makeup Geek eyeshadow is Razzleberry, and I'll be putting that in a different Z palette when it comes. Here's where I've got a random Revlon palette that was impossible to depot. Since I don't have many blue eyeshadows, I like to use this one for a transition shade, but I don't really use a lot of the other shades much. Maybe this one a little. I keep this one around until I get some matte grey shades that I'll use instead. And here I have this Sedona Lace palette and it's their matte 88 palette. I actually keep forgetting I have this one and I intended to use it for transition shades and any kind of like, and any kind of like in between middle shades that I need when I want to blend a colour out. I really should remember I have it because it has a lot of green and blue shades that I can use to blend out things and I usually just use the purple ones honestly. The pink shades are cool, but I have some other pinks that I prefer. And I've got a little MAC quad as well. This one has amber lights, brulee, vellum, and carbon. I don't use carbon much anymore. I It was my first black I got. Um, brulee is really good. It's not as pigmented as I like and a little dusty, but it's pretty cool. And I absolutely love vellum. It's a violet duochrome shade, if you can see there. So yeah, this one's great um, if you use it over a dark base or as an inner corner highlight for any purple look, which I love to use. And I've got another Urban Decay palette. This is the Deluxe palette. It's the one with the purple velvet and the very noisy metal armor, which I actually really love the way it looks. This one also comes with a mirror. And I got this palette mainly for the color of Fishnet. Yeah, it's pretty much the only one I use, but I got Fishnet because it was like Max Stars and Rockets, only a bit more pigmented. I do actually really like Zero if I want an easily blendable black because it's kind of light on and not that pigmented. And some of these colours are actually quite nice and would go with the Navy 3 palette. Ransom is a nice blue purple and I have tried these couple of colours when I didn't really have any shimmery blues or greens. And now I've got my three square sugar pill quads to show you. I've got the Sweetheart palette which gets a lot of love and it's got Dolly Pop, Taco, After Party and Maduri. And this is a really great palette. I definitely think anyone who loves bright colors should get it. I'd probably say that Dolly Pop is my favorite shade, but I love all of them. And I definitely get plenty of use out of Taco too. Then we've got the Burning Heart palette, and it's an amazing one too. If you like bright and dark colors, definitely a must as well. And we've got Poison Plum, Love Plus, Flame Point, and Butter Cupcake. I absolutely adore all of these. And this is one of the newer palettes. It's the Heartbreaker palette, different packaging. Still the same format with the mirror in it and the quad. And here we've got Acid Berry, Velocity, Mochi, and 2AM. This one's great too. I really love Mochi's color. It's such an interesting seafoam green. And the others are a nice complement to the rest of the collection. I had to have every palette, of course, so I had to get this one as well. And 2AM is a really good blending out shade for Poison Plum and the Burning Heart palette. As you see, I had to have absolutely every Sugar Pill palette out there. And uh, I can't stop myself from buying them. I'll probably get the next one when it comes out and I'll never stop. They call to me, I must have them all. And other insanity. And also for colored bases, I've got the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. This is all cream makeup and it gives you a world of possibilities. It's great to mix and I've actually used it quite a bit for eyeshadow bases in the past. And you can also use it for special effects or face paint makeup. It's fun for Halloween and I'll list up the tutorials over yonder. And I've got this duty here, which is the Krylan Aqua Color Palette. This is a six color palette and it's actually customizable. I actually got the UV colors, which is actually a bunch of their UV day glow colors. I've got the UV yellow, the UV red, the UV pink, the UV purple, the UV blue, and the UV green. And they're great to mix together. As you see, I've used part of the palette to do that. And you can choose any of their watercolor based paints. And you can also get the super colors, which are a cream base. I really love these colors because they're awesomely bright. They're great for face painting and you can also use them on the lips. They're incredibly painful if you get them in your eyes though, so you have to be careful when working around there. I found that out the hard way. All I need to do is get a black light to actually see how awesome these colors are. That's on my wish list too. They actually come in these little pans individually and then you can buy the palette to put them together. And then they have these little ridges and they clip into the divot here. And I've kept my little plastic lids on just to, to keep them all clean and separated. Although, I've only made a little bit of mess here. These are also good to mix if you want custom colours. As you can see, that's what I've got going on here. And sometimes it's good if you want to mix the aquacolor paints to get a little palette like this so you can fill it up with water and mix your colours in the outside. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my channel for more tutorials. Click the little boxes if you want to see other tutorials of mine.